so the clinical signs that we see with anaphylaxis, uh, most of the time uh, we, we see dermal representations in our veterinary patients uh, characterized by urticaria or some uh, erythema or the angioedema. And uh, here we see a little puppy who has uh, angioneurotic edema. And um, if it's from a sting, they might not be as pruritic as compared to the angioneurotic edema that you might see from a vaccine reaction. So um, the, the clinical signs then do differ, whereby if it's from a venomous hymenopteran, uh, there will be pain involved, whereas if it's from an allergic uh, reaction to a vaccine, it'll be more of a pruritic response. Uh, if the uh, anaphylaxis wants to go systemic and uh, try to lead to the patient's demise, we'll have a laryngeal edema, a circulatory collapse, and shock. And uh, anaphylaxis usually occurs within uh, several minutes from the envenomation, but uh, there is a, a syndrome in people that's defined as delayed anaphylaxis that can occur as far out as 72 hours after the encounter. So uh, this would signal us to uh, keep the patient uh, under control and under uh, observation over the next day or so uh, to, um, in order to uh, uh, pick up anything that might be a delayed reaction.